I felt alone for as long as I can remember. Today it's like every other day. I'm alone again. The world around me is still moving, yet my life still. Why do I feel this way? Did I build this cage of friends around me? Does everyone feel like this? Some days the walls seem so close. I feel as though I can't breathe and yet the outside world seems so far away. I can still hear it. The sound of cars. The smell of diesel wafting through my window that only opens about two inches. My only visitor is a solitary pigeon who stands on the window still staring in as if to say, You're not alone. I'm here with you. Say no. Nobody wants to see you in a swimming costume. Even when I leave the four walls in which I exist, I still feel trapped within a cage of my own creation. The people around me, reaching in and trying to let me out. I don't want their help. I want to do this alone. I don't deserve their help. I'm worthless. I deserve to be on my own. Everyone around me looks so happy and confident within themselves. The sound of their laughter, it's like music to my ears. I wish I could be like them. The sea is my sanctuary. The only place that the walls come down and I escape the cage. Only now do I realise that I'm such a small element in a vast mass of water that could engulf me in a second. The voice in my head has no place here. I'm alone. But when I'm here, I don't feel lonely. I'm happy. I wish I could live with my head underwater in the silence of the deep blue sea. but I know that I have to return to the four walls that I built around myself. I do everything not to be on my own. Alcohol makes me feel confident, like I can do anything. The smell of beer, the sound of men arguing about the football, anything to not be alone with my thoughts. But no matter how loud the world is, it's still holding me hostage. Making sure I only hear them. I hate you. You're worthless. Why don't you save everyone the effort and just go home? No one wants to look at you. This time I listen. I'm too tired to fight back, so I go back to the four walls that I call home. forever hoping for some kind of change. Praying for an email that says, congratulations, we're pleased to offer you a place. And if it happens, will it feel as though a weight has been lifted? That somebody actually believes that I deserve a life like everybody else? Or will I build a new cage around myself?
Island, answer me. What lies beyond? Tell me what lies beyond this vast pond. Danger, danger far and wide. Nothing good lurks past that tide. Here, here is where you must hide. The sanctuary of the island is where we must reside. But what will I become if I stay here? Trapped within these borders, you taught me to fear. I need to experience the new. Find my place in a bigger crew. This is where you were born and grew and learnt. Do not so carelessly get yourself burnt. <sighs> You're going to your brother very deep. How dare you exchange him for something so cheap? You would abandon me when I taught you everything you know? Subject me to loneliness and perpetual woe? If my fate is to stay within your grasp, then why does my heart yearn to loosen that clasp? I will not remain helpless anymore. I need to fend for myself on a distant shore. Out there, I can put your teachings to the test. So please, don't keep me in the nest. <laughs> Solitude, my oldest, most loyal friend. I can count on you to be here at the end. You haunt my existence like a hell-bent ghost, clinging to me because you like me the most. Only you hold my hand, keeping me company in this cold, cold sand. I am cursed to nurture and to raise, and to my children be just a passing phase. My embrace becomes suffocating and tight. A prison in which they all take flight. Why, why can't I keep just one? Let them stay with me without feeling undone. Island, I call to you. What lies beyond? What will I find beyond this vast pond? One moment, please, without this aching loss, ambushed by fresh faces venturing across. No more, I say, no more. Go, go, be truly free. I'll no longer be the keeper of your key. I can't stand another bitter stare, piercing me to the point of no repair. So be gone if you truly wish to leave and let a mother properly grieve. I relent my duty and must retreat. Someone else can listen to you bleat. But not me, I am broke. And I see now that I am the joke. Island, what is wrong? I do not understand the cause of this song. I am simply curious of the world unknown. I did not wish to make you run. I do not want to reject your care, nor to offend you by asking about distant air. These new lands everyone leaves to seek. Why do you feel like they make you weep? You are our shepherd, we are your flock. Wherever we go, you will also run and walk. No one takes to the seas out of spite, or to deprive you of a strong young light. But when adventure calls, stasis must shift. Otherwise we are left to want to retreat. Walk through and soil is made possible by your power. So when it happens, do not turn sour. Danger, danger. What a selfish lie. To prevent you from making me cry, I've sheltered and kept you from going astray. But have taken your choice and will away. Stasis has given you a restless eye, scanning the horizon for ways to fly. I was being your crutch, but my shelter and protection became too much. For so long, I saw this departure as a desire to leave me behind. But now I see it is just the curiosity to find.
find something, anything, an innate need, a natural sense of purpose that all must feed. While I am tied to this dear land, your purpose lies in the palm of your own hand. What lies beyond is beyond my capacity to see, but you'll no longer face contempt from me. Who knows what's out there? Not me, my child. It is not for me to go into the wild. You're right. It should be my source of pride to know that I've given you the tools to stride. sake, man! Get your head out the clouds! Can't you use your eyes? Oh, I, uh, I didn't mean to, uh, I didn't realise you were... It's just my legs that don't work. You might want to cut the frantic gestures out. You could offend someone using sign language. Also, I'm not a man. I'm non-binary. For your information... I can't get this damn crinkle out! Um, hello to you too. It was nice crashing into you, I guess. Sorry. Look, I'm in a bit of a huff. I received a letter from my ex-employee of resignation. She says, you have continuously underpaid me for the amount of stress you give me, and there's no respect in the workplace. <laughs> Bloody joke, that is.
not from where I'm sitting. Seems like she's given you a pretty accurate character reference there. Excuse me? Well, you just walked into an injured person and then reluctantly apologised for the people person, aren't you? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Richard, and who might you be? Ah, Richard the Bastard. Catchy nickname. Think I'll stick with that. No hard feelings, man, if they are your pronouns. You eventually said sorry. My name's Mike, but everyone calls me Mickey. You can give me a nickname too, if you like. Get creative. Ah, uh, I, um... Well, um... Oh, how about uh, Mike the Bike, you know, because of the, uh, the, the boom, you know? You do know the wheelchair's only temporary. I was in a crash a few weeks back. I'll walk again, it's not a permanent fix. Definitely not a personality trait, Richard. I'm sorry, I was just... I, I thought we were joking around, you know, being light-hearted. I, I just thought I'd... I guess I just took it too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, bless your soul. I was testing you. Good thing you didn't take it any further, isn't it? So you're not offended? Loosen up, Richard. We're only giving you a hard time because, you know, we wanted you to get told off a bit. I mean, you can joke around, just be a little bit considerate. <laughs> you, uh, you gave me quite the turn there. Well, think of it this way. If I told you to say sorry, you probably wouldn't have understood me looking and feeling uncomfortable. You would have just liked me to tell you what was wrong, and then you'd try to amend it with an apology. But the thing is, seeing people's body language and expressions paint a picture, knowing the reason why it's hurt them can defeat ignorance. Just try to unlearn saying sorry in the instant to fix things, yeah? Actually, Learn to respect people and treat them like an equal. We don't want anything more than that. I will remember that. You are wiser than me, after all. Oh, and uh, congratulations on getting into your course. I, I noticed the letter, but I didn't say anything earlier. Oh, thanks. I suppose I should also go and congratulate my ex-employee. Can't be sour now, I suppose. I need to work on my social skills. It's nice to have met you, Mike. Mickey. And you. Come on, Richard. We've come all this way to make fun of you. I'm coming. Just coming. Better be. I can't even reach the doorbell. Oh. I know you've got a bar coming along in there, Richard. I want first dibs. <laughs> Hello, weary travellers. Good evening, boss man. Looking fancy. How's being the shared owner of two hotels going? Great. I had a chat with my ex-employee. And... She convinced me to buy up and run both hotels. I was sitting on money without purpose, and she invited me to do good, as did the two of you. Um, so, I hear that you're, um... Only in this contraption now for a couple of weeks? Yep. I can't wait to run away from my responsibilities instead of wheeling away from them. Oh, I was getting used to pushing people around. Oi, watch it. You're starting to sound like Richard. <laughs> Genuinely though, Mickey, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I don't know what comes next, but what I do know, I'm excited. <laughs>